Last time on Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. Promise you'll come to see one of my shows, okay? Here's a flyer. Uh, no, I don't really. You'll show up, I swear. No, uh, ma'am, I really don't. Show up or else I'll kill you. Uh, uh, all right, I guess I'll show up. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to another episode of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Last time we talked to Noodle Man, and we figured out we have three cases to solve total. We have Phoenix Wright telling us to find the person who hit him. Noodle Man wanting us to find his noodle stand. And by the way, I can't believe I didn't realize this last episode. Hit the name of his noodle shop is just Noodle Backwards. I don't know how I missed that. And the third thing is, uh, Trucy's panties. Apparently she can't do without. I don't know. So, let's continue. I hope I just loaded up the right save. Uh, yes, okay. So we can go to the clinic, we can go to the accident scene. Let's start with the accident scene. Because we haven't been there. This is a weird accident scene. Was Phoenix just hauling around paint or something? So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion. It feels like Chinatown. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Oh, please don't be old bag. Please don't be old bag. I swear to God. Um, okay. I'm just a little curious about the park over there, too. People park. Oh, you're new. Excuse me. Um, can we have a few words with you? <laughs> you want something? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the perfect voice. <clears throat> Whoa, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? Oh, she's a really low voice? I figured she would have, like, a higher one. That's quite a house you got there. You must have a lot of money. Oh. Money. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm gonna give her a very, like, manly voice, I guess. Whoa, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. This is the Kitaki family mansion, little girl. Huh? You, kid with the hair, you want something. Uh, uh, me? Me? No, no, not a thing. Bye. Apollo, we can't just leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But, but the Kitaki family, I actually, I have no clue about this Kitaki family. I don't know what this is about. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town? Oh, God. Well, we better get involved. Oh. <laughs> You better move, little boy, or else I will cut those little spikes right off your head. Um, please, no, and then I will castrate you. If you're going to ask something, ask it if you're man enough. Jesus, that is a hardcore cleaning lady. <laughs> ah! Uh, right Yay! Way to whip him into shape, ma'am. Does she know no fear? I'm Plum, Plum Kataki, wife of the fourth head of the fa Kataki family business. My friends call me Little Plum. Uh, I, I, I'm Little Apollo, Justice Attorney in Law, don't kill me, please. If looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. Oh, she's back to sweeping. Although she stops periodically, like, should I kill him now? No, no, just keep sweeping. Maybe, no, no, I guess. Okay, well, let's talk to her about the car accident. Or we could talk to her about the Katakis. Little Plum, that's a really cute name for someone, so... Yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa! What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh, that seems like a bit of a needless procedure. No, it's not. You're gonna open your mouth up and she's gonna kill you. I'm a lawyer. I live for these needless procedures. Oh, little girl, you should know. We are gangsters. Gangsta- Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Trucy, through me, please. I'm begging you here. Wahahaha. <laughs> God, her mouth opens wide. The bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm going to need some warm tea after this. Takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So you're saying that this business is in a slump? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. Drusy, do you sense no danger at all? 
She's like the perfect... Even Maya sensed when people were scary. Like, Trucy does not understand at all. There was a car accident here last night. Last night. Oh, her eyes... Okay, you're a scary looking lady. Uh, of, of course you would know about it. So sorry to bother you. Wait. Y yes You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet in the air and just walked away. My daddy! Ha ha ha, I should have known. One of our capos thought he'd make a great point man. <laughs> Capo? Point man? Um, could you avoid using too much, uh, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning, bah. Cleaning up this... paint? Yeah, what about this paint? I've been wondering about that. What... was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around 9 o'clock last night. I heard a crashing noise. And found your fault. yeah, okay. I gotta give her like a Jonah Haig voice, almost. And found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You've my husband. The boss to thank for that. I like this music. better do. The car hit your father and knocked over his paint. Then turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons do your dirty work for you? Please go through me when you want to- Wah! Ha 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 ha! Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. Suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Um, yes. But we're community-oriented gangsters, you see. The boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him. I availed myself to the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. There's something in it, I can see that from here. Um, well, should I present anything to her? I don't think I even have anything, I just have a map. Well, I'll see you later then, uh... Oh, no, I should start examining things. What am I saying? There's paint splashed all over this gate. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right, Fe. And I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, bring the scoundrel by, would you? Of course, then you can make them clean up their own mess. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha ah, ha, you're cute. I could eat you, literally. Naive, but cute. When I find whoever did this, I'll- you can bet I'll be doing some cleaning. It's an ancient family technique that's been passed on from generation to generation. Wow, can you show it to me? I couldn't. Everyone in a five mile radius would die. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. Ooh, I wish I could say cool things like that. I bet you do. Wahahaha. <laughs> I'd laugh if my teeth weren't chattering so hard. What's this over- oh, it's just a dragon painted on the wall. Okay, I think that's pretty much all there is in the area to examine unless it wanted me to examine that dragon. But you know what, we'll examine it just in case. Just in case. Brightly painted dragon, why do I get the feeling he's glaring at me? Those paints must have- wait, those paints must have been to repaint this wall. That's right, I called in an artist to do the job, right? He's the third so far. The third? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here. The second on my kimono. So I... No, no, don't tell me. It's better that I don't know that. Oh, well, that's a scary people to work for. Scene of the sand theft. I guess we're gonna have to go because... Oh, no, it lets us look around. Whoa, who are you? Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? There's something about her. 
Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. Wait, what? Is someone trying to climb over the fence? What is happening over there? Or is that guy stuck? What's going on? Looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. I smell an incident. Ma'am, there's no entry to the park. Now don't you tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always walk- Oh, please don't be who I think it is. I always walk through this park on my way home. Please, get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, ma'am. That's quite the determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey, miss, stay out of the park. You got mad at me. <laughs> um, did something happen here, officer? Huh, n um, no, move along, nothing to see. Why don't you kids go play somewhere? We're not kids and we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Something wrong? Oh, Detective Sky. Detective Sky? I don't believe I've heard that name. Surprised it wasn't Detective Gumshoe when he's like, what, pal? Stuff like that. We're fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Whoa! Styling and profiling. I have no idea those words, the meaning of those words that just came out of my mouth, but she looks cool. Why is she wearing a lab coat? You're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. What are you talking about? Everyone looks like me. Everyone wishes they could look like me. And these kids are... Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Uh, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're not. Or might I spill something on that pretty face of yours? Want a dose of experimental hydro cell... Hydrocesalunodostrace? Please, please, I can't take this. My mind is too small. What's hydroxy stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Keep out of the... Try to keep out of the riffraff, if you would. Yes, ma'am. I love how Apollo is so short. And, like, so... I don't know, he seems so young that no one will believe he's a lawyer. Uh, how are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh yes, that nice... Oh god, is she going to threaten the police? Hello again, miss. Could we get across the street, please? Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, as the boss would say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. You're kidding. What a morning. Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house, too? A crime without honor, without remorse. It's a private matter. Want to hear about it? Somehow, I... Somehow I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. <laughs> so, what happened at your house? Bloomers, last night. Bloomers. Eh? I got a bad... Oh no, her underwear. I got a bad feeling about this. Me, little plum Kitaki, the victim of a panty snatcher. Oh, we're getting closer. What? So it isn't just my panties that were stolen? Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. Um, are, are you serious? You seem like you slit people's throats on a daily basis. And you're like, oh my god, this, this man stole my panties. How will I ever get through my day? It wasn't you, was it? N no, of course not. Mercy. I've heard word that panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. Hard to imagine Trucy's and Mr. Kataki's panties having much in common. I just imagine Miss Kataki's panties... <laughs> Apollo, don't let it get to your mind. And don't let it also get to your mind that traditionally those outfits were worn without clothing under them, so... I know, we'll find your bloomers too! Great, show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? 
What? I'm just trying to help. Just be quiet for a little bit. Uh, but Apollo... Uh, ju I'll just get out the duct tape now. That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Uh, um, hello, m mother. She's a Kataki too? Uh, um, miss, miss. Here, our flyer. Oh, what's with her eyes? She's like freaking out. The right anything agency? Uh, anything agency? Is that what they're called? Yeah, do you like the new flyer? When when did you have time to print this out? I was just talking to you and it was different. So, um, this is our defense attorney, Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Ah, oh, goodbye. Why did you give her our flyer? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. <laughs> She's a heiress. Wait, she's the heiress to the gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. Well, just in case I have to bury another body. I hate it like last time. Wait, what? Wait, what? I wouldn't be so sure. Okay, well then. That was an interesting situation. Can we still not examine the person who's trying to climb over the fence right now? I guess we'll just leave them be. Okay, well, that's been thoroughly investigated. Now, I love how it changed its own name, the Right Anything Agency. Uh, let's go to the scene of the stand theft. Pushy's right here, I know it. I know like 1% of you got that joke. And even if like you guys don't get this joke in the first viewing, I'm sure there's someone like three years from now. They'll be like, hey, I got you, Pushy. Yeah, that's a good joke. So, what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. See, look, it's just, it's just, um, Noodle backwards. That's the name of the shop. And I know a lot of you probably realize this. It's like, wow, Zeno, I didn't realize that you, that you were this dumb. Wow. And, yeah, okay, I get it. Please don't yell at me. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground nearby. How, how can you just identify evidence? Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place, a hospital? There's a sign. Merikit's Clinic. Hmm. Oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? The one who snatched my panties. He ran into this clinic last night. Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties. Because the creepy guy works at the other hospital, so I doubt he works at this clinic. I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure to let's investigate. Uh, ah, there you are, Sonny. Oh, it's Guy. Will you find anything yet? Or, um, no, not yet. Playing the harmonica of disappointment. The longer you loaf around, here the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. Look at how run down that noodle shop is. Who in their right mind would go to this place? This bowl of- wait, this bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. Like, look at this. This place is awful. It's a noodle ball on the ground. Is this yours, Mr. Eldoon? Hey, that there is the heart and soul of Eldoon's noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon, it's gonna taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls got taken away with my stand. Get it back for me, sonny boy, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Oh, sir, you can stop touching me. No, I'm enjoying myself. Bowl added, finally we got something added to the court record. What about this water tank? Looks like there's an oil drum. It's connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes, how environmentally conscious. You... Don't think he uses the rainwater to cook his noodles to make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money he can buy. Taste is his business, you know. Look at the sign over there. Eldoon only uses waters from all natural resources. I think I'll take a rain check on heating here. Uh, okay. Anything else? There's a hose coming out of here, but I feel like that's just part of... What is that? It looks like a severed hand. This house is... Well, it's old. It's been well loved, that's for sure. I lived here with my wife for many years now. 
It's got character, though. Just like my soup. Mmm. I always thought character was a positive thing. I love how it just says new. No. Run away while you can. Is this the backside or front? Wait, how does this stand work? What in the world? Why are the dishes outside and... Oh, a doghouse. Look, a doggy. Good boy. Good boy, Salty. I'm sure the dog is a real name, Trucy. Yep, sure does. Name Spoon. And it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Poor little thing. Starts to cry. Ugh. Apollo, let's find that stand soon before Spoon's sake. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. Dogs can't eat, like, anything. Like, it'd be sucked. It would suck to be an animal, absolutely. Just because of all the things you can't eat. So let's talk to Mr. Eldoon. So, your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was it? Ah, passed down from father to son. That's a pretty shitty gift to leave your son with. That stand's been its share of salt, mm-hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. So, your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was stolen? Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, Sonny Boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt crust stew pot, and my stain sign. Great to know. You always go for quality. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. We'll collect the Dragon Balls and wish your stand back. Isn't that kind of a useless... U no, it's the best one. Let's find that legend Apollo. Isn't it about time you bought a new one anyway? What about your stolen stand, mister? Are there any more details you could give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy. Happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying, to, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. Just how I like it, Apollo. You hear me? No, no, I don't. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for the late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease. Then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose. Work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I'm washed up on salty shores of... I didn't get to read that, actually. That stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything? They took my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. And the crack that was, like, in the back part of the wheel, you know. You know Apollo, right? Um, no, no, I don't. Oh, well, uh, I kind of assumed you were just one of us. What do you mean, one of us? At least they left one bowl. Look, they're on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl. My last bowl. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. Could you imagine, like, a singular guy walking around with a single bowl in the streets, like, selling noodles. Selling noodles. That's it. That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's a crying shame, that is. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth. It's not some pretty girl's panties. The garage, right? You don't think the thief lives there, do you? Heh. Feh. I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. Hmm, I do detect a little animosity here, or do I? Oh, he has a grudge against some doctor in there now, does he? Let's make sure to check out the garage thoroughly. Okay, well... We did get that... Oh no, the bowl's just the evidence. Why don't we present... I mean, he already talked about it, but if I present it, will he say... You can tell my bowls... The, wait, you can tell my bowls by the Mr. Salty logo. The mascot of Eloon's noodles. They come to the stand, they sit, they drink deep from that bowl. And when they see the bottom, the face looks just like Mr. Salty's. Genius, no? Very high concept. You can't ply a trade if you don't love the tools. Remember that. Yes, sir. Drusy is a thing for professionals, clearly. Huh. Does fit our character, though. 
Well, I guess... Do we just move inside the garage, then? Whoa! Spooky, scary skeletons. I, I want to just get to the end of the case, and it's like, who did it? And it's like, it was me, Skeletor! <laughs> Something ridiculous. This is the place. This is where that panty snatcher ran. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues to panty snatching. Clues like a pair of panty. Wow, how insightful, Trucy. Um, Trucy, could you try not saying panties so many times? I, I, I don't know if that's just like a Japanese thing where like the word panties just makes people uncomfortable. I don't know. Oh my god, that cat. I did not see you. What's up, little buddy? Hey, kitty cat. Here, kitty kitty. Aw. It's not coming down. We do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Is that just the thing that you used to roll into the car? I bet someone's under the car right now. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Um, okay. Well, there's an odd blue color. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Hmm? Apparently there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow. I wish I could actually remember what case that was. Uh, it's been so long since I played the original three, but I'm sure it's one of those. I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey, there's something in there. What? Wait a second. Are these your... Ah! My panties! <laughs> what? Already? <laughs> I love how he's not, like, freaking out because he's holding her panties. He's just freaking out like, what I already found? Okay, okay, job well done, Apollo. Job well done. Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, no, really, don't mention it. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. You must have a nose for finding girls pan- Oh, that's not hers. Um, what are those? My little panties, of course. They've come home to Mama, and I can't wait to use them. Wait, what? What? Those are hers? Y you're going to put them on now? Watch closely now. See, nothing in the panties? Ta-da! Whoa, whoa, where'd that- Oh, she used them for a magic trick. That's why she wasn't freaked out about them. Okay. Whoa, whoa, where'd that come from? How'd that bowl get in your panties? My panties are in extra-dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. Right, Apollo? Right, Apollo- Please don't continue this conversation. I don't want to go down this line. Nor do I want to go to jail. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. I've actually never seen that. I've never seen a real magician live before, so I couldn't say. They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. Trucy's panties put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. <laughs> well, that's one case closed, at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. Yep, we have to figure out what this pink thing is. It looks like one of those things that you roll under your car to... Or it could be a cell phone. Yeah, cell phone with a charm on it. Look, a cell phone. I bet it belongs to that uh, girl with a yellow shirt we saw earlier that Trucy gave the flyer to. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it sure would be... It would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it we should bring it to him later. Cell phone added to the court Okay, we're getting all this evidence, yes. Okay. Okay. What about Mr. Skeletor over here? Eek, someone's there. Oh, it's just a gold painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton painted gold. There's a mannequin hand waving at us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? 
It screams something, that's for sure. Okay, so I think we're done here. And we can freely leave now. Let's go back to Elgin's house. What I don't really like about the Phoenix Wright games is that I hope in the later games they really fix, like, oh, you need to go here to get to here to get to here because that's just a giant time waster. And I hope they just have some sort of, like, menu where you can see, here's all the places you've been. Here's all the places you haven't been. Here's all the places you can't go yet, or things like that, you know? I think that would make the game a lot more enjoyable and streamlined, all for better reasons. Okay, so I guess we're going to go back to the right anything agency. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> all right. Uh, maybe I should... Should I talk to her about something? Talk? Panty snatcher. Oh, okay, she wants to talk about some things. What, you want to see them again? Well, if you must. No, 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 I'm fine, really. Really. Oh, God, I hope Nick doesn't find out about this. Oh. Let's just put them away, shall we? Case closed. What are you talking about? Case isn't closed until we have our thief. Just find him on the side while you work on the other cases. If it were that easy, we wouldn't need the police. <laughs> We don't need the police, and we don't need defense attorneys either, right? Fine, fine. Oh, look at that smile. She's so proud of that comeback. <laughs> I'll look for your panty snatcher. It's like, I just played you, you little bitch. <laughs> That's exactly what that face says. Any leads? Well, do we have any leads? Hmm, one moment. Alakazam. Alakazing. Whoa, where'd all this evidence come from? Whoa, where did my pants go, Trucy? So, um, so what happens next? That's it, pretty neat, huh? Yeah, neat. Uh, <laughs> I know how you feel, Apollo. I know how you feel. Hickfield Clinic. We should probably go back to the clinic, since that's the only thing I can think of. I think that's like a photo of her dad on the wall or something. June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Huh, Mr. Wright's gone. Maybe he's gone for an examination. He'll probably be back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. Daddy always loves his examinations. Don't ask, Justice. You don't want to know. Why don't we come back later? Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Well, I guess that's okay. Well, the only other thing I can do that I'm pretty sure we had to do is we have to go back and we have to show the cell phone to the lady at the Kotaki Mansion. Hey, you see, miss, please don't kill me. Sorry, kid, I got no idea what you're talking about. Well, that's surprising. Have you seen Trucy's panties? Sorry, kid, no idea. Uh, what about this bowl of ramen? Nope, okay. That's what I thought. If we move to the right side of the street, can we... No, we can't. Okay. Well, looks like we have to go... We either miss some tiny detail... Can we examine here? I don't think they'll let us pass, but... I want to examine. It looks like another cell phone. It's a big trash can on the way to the park. Guess we could check it out. A detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, actually. Huh? Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hospital. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? Oh, it's a, a mirror. It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it was smacked into something. Wait, you don't think... I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off its mirror. I never knew Daddy was so strong. He's just sitting there on the side of the road, and he's like... He's like, oh, you got nothing on me, car. You got nothing. Charge me, head on. Mono, a mono. And Phoenix Wright loses terribly. Phoenix smash. I only have in my- wait, I only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? Oh, come on, don't do this. This is needless right now, game. This is needless. Uh, let's take the mirror, I guess. It's, it's more related to the car. Okay, well, I guess we have to show, present? Hey, you seen this mirror before? Can you tell me anything about this mirror? 
That's probably from the car that knocked that fellow across the street. Right, that makes us a valuable clue. Let me know if you find that car, would you? You splash Kataki paint, you pay the price. Okay, wait, did she say the car down the street? Hold on, I wasn't actually fully paying attention to that. Oh no, it's just telling him it hit Phoenix, right? Okay. Uh, okay, well, the only other thing I can think of doing is going to Eldoom's and showing him this, be like, hey, you've seen this before? Although I doubt he has. Sorry, sonny boy. My interest for my st is in my stand. Wait, what? Get cracking on that case. Yeah, okay. Okay, I get it. About the cell phone. Sorry, sonny boy. Noodle noodle. Okay, what about Trucy's panties? Sorry. Not interested. But, oh no. This is your own bolt. No, damn it. I, uh. Okay, well, he obviously doesn't know anything. I just want to rule out all possibilities. What I do want to do is I want to go back to the garage. And, yeah, okay. Here's what I thought. Look, this car has a broken, uh... There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Yep, there we go. Okay. It's this. Can't believe I didn't notice this my first time looking at it. Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue? Let's see. Show evidence! I think I have just the clue you've got in mind. Actually, no. I met my panties. What? I left them in his car last time. Last time what? Don't ask so many questions, Apollo. My clue is this. Whoa, it's the same color, size, and everything. It's a perfect match. I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into the something something, or someone, or it hit Phoenix, or yeah, okay. Well, looks like we've just solved the case. So the car that hit Daddy last night is sitting right in front of us, yep. Wow, you put the pro in professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo? Huh, what is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay, he doesn't seem the type to mope, though. And this is hardly a case worth reporting. Maybe I... examine something? I haven't really examined much here about this police car. I don't understand if there's an ambulance outside but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry miss, not going into the clinic today. No going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh no, no nothing to see here, move along. You'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look the right age to be playing doctor? We, uh, we need a little more info on this Meritakis clinic. What is it? Merak, Meractis, Meractis. We could ask Mr. Eldoon. He's their neighbor after all. And we could check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? Ugh. I think that was intended to be done beforehand, but whatever. Okay, let's talk to him about the place next door, hopefully. Oh yes, thank goodness, I've been searching forever. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. Huh. <laughs> Probably gave someone food poisoning, I bet. Wait, what? If anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning, that police car's got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. The neighbor. Fuh. Hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. Fuh. The wrong crowd. Never you mind about that. Okay, well... Is that it? Okay, maybe Phoenix will appear now, hopefully. 
the Hickfield Clinic, huh? June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let's old daddy get some well des wait, let's old daddy o get some well deserved R and R. The elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only thirty three? Um, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent, capable. Tell me what you found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. <laughs> well, let's talk to him about everything. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to be back this early. Polly's amazing. He found my panties so quick. Almost like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me the 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Maractis Clinic. Hmm, Maractis, huh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. I don't know why he just got a southern accent. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened. What is this Maractis Clinic, anyway? Oh, I've- wait, all I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money, in a bad way. Bad? Ties to the organized crime, the Kentucky family. Um, the Kitaki family? He did that on purpose. Some injuries you can't take to the hospital. To a public hospital, see? They use the Maractis Clinic to patch for their patch-up jobs. I have such a hard time saying that word, and I don't know why. Interesting. As we have to present the mirror to him manually. It looked like something had happened in that park. Uh, a body was found in there. In unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? <laughs> it's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I ever get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering, when do I get paid? We solved the case of your accident and, um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties! That leaves the noodle stand. Huh? Eh? Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'll be happy to help with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. <laughs> right, back to the office to plan our next move. Okay then, well, thank you for being cryptic as usual and not helpful in any way. June 15th, write, write anything agency, forgot about that. I almost just called it the right talent agency. Naturally, that's not a good sign. Y you're the woman from the Kataki place. Y yes. She seems oddly nervous. I knew it. Something was the matter. You want our help? Well, you come to the right place. Ugh. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. Tiala? Alita Tiala. I have a request. Okay, well... Alright, you look interesting. Your request? Your request. Let me guess. Something's been stolen. Um, your flyer. It says now defending, so I thought... What? You mean, you mean you want me to defend you? Me? <laughs> Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand or your panties? N n no wait, what? No, why would someone... I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? Oh, now it's getting... Okay, of course. 
There's no way that wasn't going to be involved in some way. So, what's your story? You frequent the Kataki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet. You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son, so he's, a uh, gulp, a gangster. Yes, but the Katakis are locally responsible gangster. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. I think you're on to something. Miss Kataki, I like the sound of that. Please don't kill me in the future. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Yeah, daddy would not be happy. Well, what happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park near the Kataki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And, y and your fiancé was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Yeah, let's talk about that man. Your fiancé is the Kataki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki. Waki Kataki. Oh my god. <laughs> Waki Kataki, that's... That's a new one. I brought a photo. He looks like a douche. I'm sorry, lady. But what's with that shirt? <laughs> what, what is what is this character? What's that thing on his head? What's what's his face? Is does he have fox ears? I I don't understand, but okay. Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, he can be so powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son... Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm the bo I'm a boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first solo defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I, I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request added from the court record. Or added to the court record. Let's go check out the scene of the crime. Okay then, let's go ahead and do that. Um, where is the scene of the crime? The detention center. June 15th, detention center, visitor's room. Polly, you look as happy as a, claim, a clam in its shell. For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. Apollo's so hyped up, he's like, Yes, I finally get to do my job. No more of this ridiculous BS. Oh, I'm so done. And Phoenix's like, Oh, you have not seen the people that live in this city. Ahem, you need something. Uh, uh yes, we're attorneys. I, I was hoping we'd see Mr. Waki Kataki. Sorry, he's in questioning right now. Could take a while. Drat. Oh, well. Guess we'll just have to come back later, then. So much for that battle. Right, anything agency. Um, well, do we just tell her we couldn't... Do we... Oh, maybe it's... Oh, you know what? I might get to ask... Is this your phone? I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, it's me who's sorry. I bet it's his phone. Because, like, all of his clothes were this weird, almost purple color. Not this mirror. I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, it's me who's sorry. Really, sorry. Um, okay then. Well, she doesn't seem to know anything at all. Uh, let's see, what's... What is going on? Hmm, where do we go? I couldn't think of another place where we'd have to go. Uh, Kataki Mansion. E Eldun's house? Detention center? Um, let's go back to Eldun's house. I doubt he'll have any light to shine on the situation, but... Or, you know what, we should probably talk to the Kataki lady. At the Kataki Mansion. June 15th, Kataki Mansion. So this is it, my first murder crime scene. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the body. Have you ever seen a body, Trucy? Yeah, I've seen plenty. Half of them are my fault. Wait, what? Oh, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating, aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... huh? Why does it say, hit request on it? <laughs> oh my god, is that supposed... To... Oh, oh, okay. I get a hit request, like a hit man. Miss Talia must have used the Kataki stationery. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, it's you, Mr. Get. What? 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 Why are you? You no, stay, stay in the jail. You're a murderer. What? What? <laughs> what happened? I I don't know what is happening. Who's this guy? I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I've felt this way with a man. Mr. Gavin? Oh, God. What happened to you? Ah, uh, Fraulein. What is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Y yes The policeman off the policeman officer fellow won't let us in here. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I'll take you to the crime scene. Could this really be the same guy? Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Y y yes, sir. Of course, sir. What is his position? How does he have so much power they can be like, Officer, I know that you're told not to let anybody in, but you just, just let them in. It's fine. It's fine. He's like, damn, that body. I guess I'll have to let them in. Ah, uh -huh, very well. This way, Fraulein. Why does he keep saying Fraulein? I actually don't know the meaning of that word. I hear it all the time, but... Wee! <laughs> Why does she just go, wee? <laughs> hey, what about me? June 15th, People Park. Well, there's a noodle stand. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you, we'll see you again. Ask the wind, Fraulein. I'll be riding on it. What, what is with him? What happened? Who was that? Eek! Apollo, look! A, a c c corpse What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. Uh, might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Oh, who now? Oh, it's her again. Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy. Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again? Oh, a oh, pouty face. <laughs> that glimmerish fop always getting in my way. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. You kind of have to let us in. Hmm? One moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says that it was written by a Alita Tiala. Oh, so you must be like a straight-up scientist lady, I guess. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out. <laughs> they stood there for 30 minutes while she's like, Hmm, I can't be sure. I'll have to run it through the lab. And it's like, Oh, we could just drive back to our place and show you that she's there. It's like, No, no, no. I prefer to do things my way. So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? So you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of the crime scene. She doesn't seem happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. <laughs> I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Why do you have handcuffs? I thought you were a scientist. Um, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. Um, nom, nom. Um, nom, nom. Uh, are you eating wood chips? Don't question my diet. 
Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> oh, God. I have that friend that always over Skype calls. He'll always take chips and put them in his mouth and crunch constantly for 30 minutes straight. And then just to annoy you when you say, could you stop? He'll chew like an extra minute and then say, no, I hate him. I hate him so much. How long can you munch for, lady? We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. Ugh, I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years and they won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. Who is he, an ex-defense attorney? Oh, is she talking about Phoenix? I bet she has something to do with Phoenix, uh... Phoenix's case seven years ago, doesn't she? What's your story? Um, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. Oh my god, do we have to do this every time? <laughs> I love this character so far. The animation looks so funny fast forwarded. I can't- I just can't get enough of this! Oh, it's like crack! Uh, I think that is crack. I don't need it. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. I better check out what we came here to find at least. <laughs> I don't- I wonder what that is. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene, but we need to investigate. Apollo, look, the stand! Star Platinum. It says Eldune. Or it says Eldune. I've noticed. Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand, at least. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. Apollo, stop. Stop, you can't be infected by them. Okay, well, I guess since she doesn't want to talk to it, let's go back to Mr. Eldune and tell him about the whole noodle situation. Or about his stand. June 15th, Eldune's house. Oh, Mr. Eldune, hello. Looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna end the episode here. I you I actually kind of intended to finish the investigation, however long it was gonna be, but I ran into a lot of hiccups recording this single thing. So it's probably gonna take a while to edit, and it's probably gonna be terrible to edit. Sorry, me in the future. Things happen. Uh, but if you like the video, please consider leaving a like on the video to show me your support. And if you disliked it, dislike it. That's fine by me also. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just hit that subscribe button today. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Riding out.